piss off. You order, you pay. I said... You look like you're waiting for someone. I've got time for a drink. Shayna. But you can call me Reyes. I hate code names. I was expecting someone more... Angaran. <laughs> the Resistance pays me to supply information, among other things. So you're a smuggler? Your man, Venterev, was arrested by Sloane Kelly, leader of the Outcasts. Word spread about what he did to Moshe Sefer. The people are calling for his execution, and Sloane? She's a woman of the people. Dress it up however you want. She's a criminal. You work for the Initiative. Sloan was part of the uprising on the Nexus. I doubt she'll give Ven up easily. I'm taking him, with or without her permission. We're gonna be friends, you and I. There might be another way to get to Ven. You work Sloan. I'll talk to the Resistance. How do I contact you if things go south? Hey! You gotta pay! Keep the change. Always do. Pathfinder, over here. Have a nice chat? I think she likes me. <laughs> Don't worry. I found a workaround. Let me guess. Comes with strings attached? Not any new ones. Remember, Ephra wants Ven alive, so when you get inside, give him this. That'll eat through whatever Sloan's holding him in, and it can't be traced back to us. A resistance agent will be waiting to pick Ven up. What if he makes a run for it? It's covered. You just focus on whatever it is you need from Ven. There's a maintenance shaft around the corner, sending the access code to your Omni tool. That'll get you inside. You should be able to handle the rest. There's still the matter of the bill you left me with. I'm usually the model gentleman. I don't believe you. Because I'm lying. When you're done, come to Tartarus. First round's on me. I promise. Ryder, glad you're here. I'm sure you've heard about the murders. There's a fresh body outside Kralas. Some of the locals say it's the charlatan's handiwork. I don't buy it. The charlatan is discreet, careful. Whoever did this wanted the bodies found. Making a statement. But to who? The killer could be unhappy with how Sloane's running things. Less than a third of the victims are outcasts. No. If I was a betting man, and I am, I'd say it was the Rokar. Why would a Rokar be in Kadara port? It's Angaran built, and before Sloan, Angaran run. I think the Rokar came here looking for new recruits, and things got out of hand. And the Angara victims? How do they fit into your theory? I did some digging. All of the deceased Angara were public Milky Way sympathizers. So the victims either were from the Milky Way... ...or supported us. It's the only pattern I could find.
An Angaran port run by aliens would be a prime target for their cause. Problem is, I've got no proof. And the Resistance doesn't want to antagonize the Rokar. Guessing that's where I come in. I need that fancy AI of yours to scan for evidence that could implicate the Rokar. People are scared, Ryder. This is your opportunity to win friends in Kadara port. I sound pretty integral to this plan. Sam is integral. You're a bonus. Hey, I haven't agreed to help you yet. I feel good about my chances. One of the crime scenes isn't far. Give me a call when you get there. Got word from one of my colleagues. Ventaref made it off Kadara. He's a free man. Thanks to you. You helped. A little. Always nice to be recognized. Things are looking less than friendly between the Collective and the Outcasts. Not everyone's happy living under Sloane's thumb. Whatever resources Kadara has goes to the Outcasts. The rest of us get scraps. The Collective claims to be different, but it's hard to trust a faceless leader. Especially with a title like the Charlatan. <laughs> have to admit, I'm jealous. That's a better nickname than Shayna. Any idea where the Collective operates? Rumor has it they have a swanky hideout in one of the caves in Drowlir. I've never seen it myself. Your code name, Shayna. What's it mean? It's the Angaran word for mouth. <laughs> I'm good with words. Among other things? Never had a complaint. Did you play a big part in the mutiny on the Nexus? <laughs> I had nothing to do with that shit show. Then why do you leave? The way Tan handled things didn't exactly inspire confidence. Decided I could do better on my own. So I jumped ship with the rest of them. Ended up here. How long have you worked with the Resistance? A few months. When Sloan saved Kadara Port from the Ket, Ephra wanted eyes and ears on the ground. Figured people would be more loose-lipped around their own kind. He was right. Sloan's tough, but so are the Ket. How'd she take them out? Never underestimate the element of surprise. The Ket weren't ready for an ambush. But they know her tactics now. Next time, Sloan won't be so lucky. I better get going. Ryder. Yeah? Don't take this the wrong way, but... You're not really liked here, in Kadara Port. Ouch. What I'm saying is, you need a friend. Someone on the inside to help you out. I can be that guy. You need intel on Exiles, Sloan, whatever. Come to me. Thanks, I think. I don't need to tell you what happens next. You're going to try to kill me and my friends. I've got a few questions first. No. You'll bleed. Just like the others. So it's true. You murdered innocent people. Invaders and sympathizers are not innocent. I will protect my home. Don't let your hate poison you. We can coexist. Like here on Kadara. Sloan lies to my people and uses them for power. I'm not Sloan. You are all the same. Not so fast. You're late. 
I've got a good reason. You'll see in three. Don't just stand there! Two. Kill them! Still mad? Die! The streets of Kadara are safe again. You did good, Ryder. Don't worry. I'll let all the important people know who to thank. We make a good team. Careful. I'll start thinking you like me. Would that be so bad? Depends. Don't be a stranger, Pathfinder. You saved me the trouble of looking for you. Should I go? You look like the type who enjoys the chase. Oh, looks can be deceiving. I'm too shy for that nonsense. Oh yeah, a real introvert. So what did you need me for? A business rival, Zia Cordier, lifted cargo I was moving for a client. You want my help getting it back? We worked so well together on the row car job, I thought you'd be willing. What did she steal? No idea. Client paid extra for privacy. Considering my fees, it must be valuable. You didn't check. Honor's got a price. And the client paid it. How'd this rival of yours get hold of your cargo? Her usual tactics. Got my middleman drunk and stole his ship. Sounds like you know from experience. Please, I keep to a three-drink maximum when I'm on a job. We cut the profits 50-50. 60-40. Final offer. Deal. When she stops in Kadara, Zia drinks at Krala's song. We'll start there. See if Umi heard anything that could help us. What can I get you? Don't say surprise me. Ah. You look like you're waiting for someone. That's my line. Ugh. You want a drink or a room? Information, actually. That'll cost you more than a round of drinks. My friend's good for it. I'll expect a favor in return. You're one person I'll happily owe something. Ugh. What do you want to know? Zia Cordier. She been around recently? You mean your ex? Yeah, she was here. Ex? As in girlfriend? Girlfriend's such a strong word. We had drinks occasionally, so... <clears throat> she was here? Yeah, met with a Solarian. Shifty guy I'd never seen before. Maybe it was the charlatan. Anything's possible. You overhear their conversation? They were planning to meet someone at Sparrow's Ledge. Thanks, Umi. Whatever. You didn't hear it from me. If you check the meeting spot, I'll follow the collective lead. Doubt Zia was meeting the charlatan, but you never know. Is this job about getting your cargo back or one-upping an ex? Why, Ryder? Are you jealous? Just answer the question. It's about the cargo. I'll work my contacts. Give me a call when you get to the meeting spot. It's... empty. Guess Zia's buyer already came and went. Or there was never any cargo to begin with. Bravo. I knew you'd figure it out eventually. Zia. You could never resist the big payout. What can I say? I'm a greedy man. 
That's why you don't have any friends. You're selfish. Reyes is a better man than you think. <laughs> oh, honey. You've no idea how wrong you are. But you will. Leave her out of this. <laughs> you must really like this one, Reyes. Cut the shit! What's this all about? You've been taking all the good jobs in Kadara. It's gotten more than my attention. So what? The local smuggling union got together and decided to take me down? Something like that. Ah, oh, shit. Move in. I knew I wasn't popular, but I never thought the other smugglers would team up against me. Kind of flattering, actually. They might try again. <laughs> You're worried about me? Reyes. Relax. I know they're coming now. They won't get the jump on me. Ah, all that effort and no credits to show for it. Not everything has to be about credits. That's true. What you said back there, about me being a better man? Thank you. You're welcome. Hmm. I should clean up this mess. Zia was a piece of work, but it feels wrong to leave her out in the open. Go on. I'll take care of this. Ryder, I was just thinking about you. I'd love to hear more, but this isn't a private channel. I could tell you over drinks. Sloan's holding a get-together for the locals. I managed to snag an invite. Care to be my plus one? Sloan doesn't seem like the party type. She sees these events as a necessary evil to keep the people happy. Are you asking me out? I promise to be a perfect gentleman. And if I don't want you to be a gentleman? That can be arranged. I'd never say no to free drinks. Especially from Sloan's reserve. I'll meet you outside Outcast HQ. It appears festivities are underway. Mr. Rodal asked you to meet him at the entrance. Hold up. This is a private event. I'm meeting a friend. Not without an invite. She's with me. Reyes Vidal. Go on in. Reyes Vidal, I was beginning to think you wouldn't show. Remember what I said about fashionably late? Shh. Introduce me to your companion. Pathfinder, meet Kima Dorgan, the Angaran representative to Sloan and... Uh, a friend. A pleasure, Kima. Call me Ryder. Reyes mentioned your professionalism. I was hoping he'd bring you, Pathfinder. You're all he talks about lately. Is that so? Sorry to cut this short, but I need to take care of something. Abandoning me already? It won't take long. There are important players here tonight. You should mingle and make a good impression. 
You treat all your dates this way, or am I special? I'll make it up to you. Promise. And there he goes. Any idea what he's up to? It's better not to worry about what Reyes does. Enjoy the party. Good to see you again, Pathfinder. How did you meet Reyes? The only way anyone meets Reyes Vidal. Through business. His skills are very valuable in Kadara Port. I hope these pirates haven't given you a bad view of my people. <laughs> Don't worry, Ryder. I judge individuals, not groups. You, for example, I like. Not sure about who you work for, but I've learned to keep my options open. You never know who might end up in charge. Exactly. What's it mean to be an Angaran representative to Sloan? Sloan relies on me to provide an Angaran perspective. Does she listen to you? Only in extreme cases. She makes a show of being pro-Angaran, but her priority is the outcasts. She throws these parties to mollify my people. It won't work forever. Are you part of the Resistance? No. Ephra and I share information, but Kadara's problems come first. If war breaks out between the Collective and the Outcasts, it will be my people who suffer. Have you seen Reyes? No, but I'm sure he'll be back soon. He likes you. Oh yeah, that's why he ditched me at a party he invited me to. The thing about Reyes is he always has a good reason. You'll see. Nice talking to you, Kima. Likewise, Pathfinder. I believe he headed to one of the side rooms when we arrived, Pathfinder. Let's see what he's up to. Damn it. Why can't the serial numbers be in the same spot? Take the night off. Come out for a drink. Should have known you were up to something. Ryder, it's not what it looks like. So you didn't use me as a distraction to go through Sloan stuff? <laughs> okay, yes. But it's for both our benefit. I You've promise. You've been making a lot of promises. Shit, someone's coming. We need a distraction. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry. I think we're in the clear. Maybe another kiss, just to be sure. <laughs> now you're just teasing me. <laughs> Finally, here it is. Is that what this was all about? Whiskey? The only bottle of Mount Milgram in Andromeda. Triple distilled and 645 years old. This isn't whiskey. It's treasure. I hope you're planning on sharing. Ha! <laughs> we'll see. Let's get out of here. Gorgeous, isn't it? I sometimes forget. Is Andromeda everything you hoped it would be? Every day's an adventure. Even my nights off are interesting. What about you? Why did you come here, Reyes?
to be someone. You're someone to me. I'm starting to think that kiss was more than just a distraction. Thanks for being my plus one. I had a great time. Me too. Been a while since I had a partner in crime. I better get going. Thanks for stopping by. Took your sweet time. Come on, let's get this over with. I'm with you. You look like you're waiting for someone. Reyes? I'm here for the charlatan, not some third-rate smuggler. They're one and the same. Surprise. This whole time, you've been lying to me. Not about everything. You know who I really am. You said you wanted to settle things. How? <clears throat> A duel. You and me, right now. Winner takes Kadara port. You want to avoid war by shooting each other? Two people shooting each other is better than a lot of people shooting each other. I'll take those terms. Sniper, his sights are set on slow. You got everything you wanted. What I want is peace. Sloan would have brought war to Helios. We don't have the population to survive that. Why didn't you trust me? I liked the way you looked at me. I was afraid that would change. Nothing's changed. You have bad taste in men. The worst. you'd be in the throne room. Tartarus is a little shabby for Kadara's new leader, don't you think? Come on, Ryder. You know I prefer to rule from the shadows. You are a shady bastard. But a handsome one, right? The Angara you met at Sloane's party, Kima Dorgan. She's agreed to be my front. And with Sloane gone, there's room for the initiative on Kadara. I'll start rounding up volunteers for an outpost. Might take a while. You exiles have a reputation. Not all of us are thieves and murderers. I am, but some of the others are perfectly nice. Perfectly? Jokes aside, I want this outpost just as much as you do. It will have my full protection. That's a promise. I allied myself with the right man. If we're done with all the boring business talk, 
There is something I want to do. You're up to something. Again. I neglected you on our first date. How about we fix that? I didn't know you had a romantic streak. There's a lot you don't know about me. Since leaving the Nexus, my survival has depended on secrets. I don't want any more of those between us, Sarah. You're the encrypted one. <laughs> what? I was about to say something cheesy. Say it. Consider me hacked. Ugh. Just stop talking. Rider. I know you think you've got an ally in the charlatan, but he's already lied to you once. I'm okay, Mom. Promise. Thanks for looking out for me, though. I don't do it for just anyone. Only friends. Dalton, almost didn't expect to see you. Keep walking. So if Reyes is in charge, does that make you queen of Kadara? Reyes and me being a thing doesn't mean I've changed. Or Kadara's changed. Just wait till word gets around the Nexus. That's gonna put an itch in some suits for sure. But honestly, be careful. Reyes lied to you. Lying's not something you try once and quit. Words got around. So, your sweetheart's ruling Kadara now. What does that make you? Screw titles. I just wanted Reyes to be honest with me. I'm sorry. He does seem to care about you. And if that's an act two, I'll punch him through a wall. Ruling Kadara now. What does that make you? Reyes needs to keep out of sight. A title would draw attention. Shame. He could at least get you a discount around here. Be careful, okay? He's still the same man who had Sloane Kelly killed. Kadara ain't half bad. Nexus could learn a thing or two. So Reyes was the charlatan. He fooled everyone. Hard to trust a guy like that, but then I don't have to. Don't have too much fun. It's early. You were right, Ryder. Now that the political conflict is resolved, Gadara Port is growing on me. Growing like the searing pain of an infected flesh wound. So, Reyes Vidal, he's your type? I find that interesting. I, uh, are you jealous? For Angara, the more steadfast a man is, the more desirable he is. Cora says that you prefer bad boys. What? No! Uh... Ugh. Looks like I'm having a chat with Cora. And probably Lexi. Something on your mind, Liam? Just saying. Everything looks pretty much the same with the charlatan in charge. If he's being upfront about that, we 
you do is your business. <laughs> I'm flattered, really, but your breath blew it. Hey, Ryder, since you made nice with the powers that be here, I'm fielding a lot less animosity from the average outlaw. They're tolerating us. Don't take it for granted. I know. Your boyfriend Reyes can't keep all his minions in check, right? Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Hello, Sarah. Pathfinder, may we discuss your romantic attachment? All right, but I hope you already know where babies come from. My experience of such attachments was a long-established relationship. Cherished, familiar, but tragic. Mom and Dad. I have never known the beginning of an attachment. Perspective on your partner would place it in context. I really care about him, and I hope he feels the same. All life strives for connection. Now I understand better. Thank you. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Pathfinder, it's good to see you again. You've done well for yourself. What's the human expression about having friends in high places? The charlatan and I agreed it would be mutually beneficial if I was the face of Kadara Port. The outcasts have disappeared from the port? Not completely. Kytus is still moaning in the holding cells. But the others have scattered. I'm told there's still plenty in the Badlands. Watch your back. Many blame you for Sloane's death. What will you do with Kytus? The safest option is to execute him. But the charlatan thinks he's worth something. Oh? He was Sloane's confidant. The charlatan won't kill him until he's learned every dirty secret. Was it always the plan for you to take Sloane's place? It was a requirement for my cooperation, yes. As Sloane's Angaran representative, I had more access to the outcasts than the average Kadara citizen. Also, I could rally the Angara to the collective side. I take it you know the charlatan's true identity. I'm one of the select few. I told him to tell you earlier, but he worried about what you'd think. It was adorable, really. How's the mood in Kadara since Sloane's death? I doubt we'll ever achieve unanimous approval, but my people are happy to be under Angaran rule again. Sloane made a lot of enemies, even among your people. It's a welcome change. You're not worried people think you're a figurehead for the charlatan? My ass does more than just sit in this chair. The charlatan listens to me more than Sloane ever did. I should be going. See you soon, Pathfinder. It's my night off. I don't remember approving that. I can break bones just as well as I can mend them, Pathfinder. What are you reading? Harry's latest report on Scott. He's a troublesome patient. So you're not really taking the night off. <laughs> Work-life balance has never been my strong suit. You love what you do. Nothing wrong with that. Tell that to my exes. How do you do it? Be both Sarah and the Pathfinder. I don't really think about the Pathfinder thing when it comes to friends, family. Reyes? Sure, I have a responsibility to them, but I don't let it define me, or our relationship. Sometimes, just sometimes, real wisdom comes out of that thick skull of yours. A compliment? I'll take it. Wait, you're psychoanalyzing me. Always.
Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Hello, Sarah. Pathfinder, may we discuss your romantic attachment? All right, but I hope you already know where babies come from. My experience of such attachments was a long-established relationship. Cherished, familiar, but tragic. Mom and Dad. I have never known the beginning of an attachment. Perspective on your partner would place it in context. I really care about him, and I hope he feels the same. All life strives for connection. Now I understand better. Thank you. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. The Nexus reacted to the foothold I've established. People are eager to help. The shortages are obvious, but you're turning it to inspiration. Havaral is a draw for the research-minded, despite there being so little established. It remains unusual despite the corrected vault. It may yet be a surprising producer. We shall see. There's so much beneath Vold. Some are calling it beautiful, but not when I'm around. Poetry remains off-limits. While Tate is a master at bringing out resources, there are legitimate concerns about the connections you use to place it. Reyes is open to reconciliation, of a sort. So I've heard. Tan is livid, of course. Giving the Exiles any concession legitimizes them. Keep an eye on it. There's only so much I can deflect, and only so long as you can promise stability. A surprising number are moving between here and Elodin. It's very familiar, bringing the Krogan back. You don't mind that Morda gets concessions? Not if the Krogan are under our banner. Tan takes it personal. I go by the numbers. I'll eat some crow if it gets us resources. Director Addison. Goodbye, Pathfinder. Get this beauty is yours? The Tempest? Yeah, she's mine. Hell of a ship. We don't get many like her. Colt Dalton, Kadara Docks Manager. Got strict orders from the Charlatan to take good care of you. Awfully nice of them. You'd know better than me. Thanks for your time. <sighs> Back to work. You hear that? Someone's approaching. Stand down, they're allies. Welcome, Pathfinder. Still not used to you people not shooting at me. Well, get used to it. The charlatan's orders were clear. If I didn't know any better, I'd say the boss had a soft spot for you. But that's none of my business. Crux is in charge here. If you need something, speak with her. Pathfinder, I'm Crux. I represent our common acquaintance. Do all you people have code names? All the representatives, yes. I'm afraid you've come at a bad time. We're having some internal disputes. Someone's been faking the charlatan's orders, giving bad intel. It got two of our recruits killed. Someone impersonating the charlatan could do a lot of damage. Only the representatives have access to such high-level information. The boss knows it's someone operating out of this base. It's my job to find the culprit. So what's the holdup? The imposter could bolt at the first sign of suspicion. I need a subtle way to smoke them out. Why would someone risk impersonating the charlatan? Greed is a powerful motivator, Pathfinder. The Collective has access to supplies, credits, you name it. And we only answer to one person. Maybe I could help. My alliance with the Collective is new. Getting to know its members shouldn't raise suspicion. That's true. All right, Pathfinder. Here's what we know. The drop point was in the Sulphur Springs, so the imposter should have high levels of sulphur in their clothes. Sam's sensors should be able to detect that. Anything else? We found footprints that could be human or Asari, but too smudged to get an exact size. That's all my intel.
Any luck finding the imposter? Dorado's clothes showed high levels of sulfur. When I questioned her loyalty to the charlatan, she became... frantic. You asked her outright. I said to be discreet. Aquila, detain Dorado. Dorado? She's gone. Said it was on the charlatan's orders. Damn it. If the charlatan finds out, I let her get away. I'll take care of it. She can't have gone far. Crux, it's Ryder. Did you find Dorado? She ambushed me. I had no choice but to take her out. Would have liked to question her, but at least it's done. Thanks, Pathfinder. Look who it is. I found one of the Collective's hideouts. I heard. Thanks for your help with Dorado. I better get going. Thanks for stopping by. The Hyperion. Kandros? Who's with you? The whole damn cavalry. You know I can't resist a party. We hold the chasm. You secure Meridian. Let's find the Archon. Debris incoming. Sorry for the mess. Structures ahead, Pathfinder, and me. Distance is with you. Always up for the adventure. Or whatever this is, Spider. You okay up there? Kick their teeth in, if they... The word's out. Everyone's the latest, but... The Nexus wants to know what's next. What do I tell them? Tell them... Tell them we're home. to slip away, found a great storage room. Sturdy crates, secluded, no interruptions. A storage room? You spoil me. It'll be like our first date, but better. Guess you'll be heading out soon? Still a lot to do. Meridian's just one step toward making Helios our home. Yeah, but a damn big one. You deserve to celebrate. And I deserve another drink. Cheers, Pathfinder.